Takeru is one of Japan's best kickboxers, and everyone I know says he's going to win. Call me crazy, but this match might be closer than most people think. A lot of folks are going to say Takeru's victory is assured, but I personally love rooting for the underdog, and that's why I'm going to give you three reasons why Tanzin could win this match. So hit the like button and let's get going. Reason number one, Tanzin can take a lot of damage. Remember, he is from that left way background, and for those of you who don't know, that's Myanmar's combat sport where you don't wear gloves instead you use these bare knuckles you can wrap them in tape and you win by knocking someone out by knocking someone out so tanzin's left way background is going to help him a lot because he's used to taking a lot of damage remember when takeru did this to superlek in round three i think tanzin can take that kind of damage he's 19 years old if Takeru wants to hurt Tanzin, he's going to need high volume and high intensity. Otherwise, Tanzin is going to be able to break through Takeru's defenses and score those significant strikes. Reason number two, Tanzin has a katana of a low kick. Getting kicked by him is like taking a baseball bat to the legs. Remember what Superlek did to Takeru's leg in that fight? I'm guessing Tanzin has watched that video and seen the Instagram post afterwards of Takeru's leg. He knows he wants to do the exact same thing. And that if he takes away the legs, the fists of Takeru will do less damage. Tanzin's low kicks will be absolutely damaging and that's where he'll score a lot of points in the judge's eyes and take away some of Takeru's incredible speed and power. Reason number three, Tanzin has nothing to lose. Some fights are won before a fighter ever enters the ring. A fighter's mental state, his attitude, and confidence walking into the ring make a huge difference in how a fighter performs. Think about how confident Superlek was when he defeated Jonathan Haggerty. Think about how confident Haggerty was when he fought Fabricio Andrade. Look at Haggerty's mental state versus Andrade's mental state right before the match. Going into this fight, Tanzin is a 19-year-old kid fighting in the co-main event against one of Japan's, in fact, one of the world's best kickboxers, who is 14 years older than him. If Tanzin loses, he will walk away with a great experience and be able to tell his friends, family, and fans that he fought one of the world's best kickboxers. If Tanzin wins, he will make history and go back to Myanmar a hero. So it's really a win-win for Tanzin in this match. Takeru, on the other hand, knows he's got to win. He's fighting in kickboxing, which is his sport, and he has to feel that if he loses, that'll be his second loss in one, and this time to someone 14 years younger than him with far less experience at the big leagues in one championship. But at the same time, he's got to feel the pressure on to win, otherwise it will be two losses since he moved to one championship. In my mind, yes, Takeru is the favorite by far in this fight, but I do not count out Tanzin. I think those three reasons, his low kicks that can do a lot of damage, his confidence and mental state, because it's a win-win situation for him, and his background, which allows him to take a lot of damage and knock people out. We forget that he's also knocked out two people in one, so he's a very powerful striker. These are all his strengths, and these are what make me think he's got a very good chance in this fight. So what do you think? If you think Takeru is going to win, what's your prediction? Unanimous decision? TKO, KO, in what round? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want Tanzin to win, give him a shout out in the comments down below and tell me how you think he's going to win. So thanks for watching. If you stayed this long, you might as well hit the like button and subscribe because more content like this is coming your way.